Hi guys, this is Mrs. Faith. I'm just going to do a quick little video here to explain your renewable energy project. For those of you who are also more visual and you want to go back and refer to some of this information, I do have a PDF of these slides on the Schoology page. So you can feel free to go back and if you need to relook at anything, uh, they're all in there. All right, so first thing, we're going to talk about uh, what you can do for your projects. So some of the main sources of renewable energy in the world today are solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, and biomass. There are more out there than just these five, but these are kind of the main five that are really um, gaining a lot of strength in the world today. If you do have another idea for another renewable energy source that you would like to use for your project, please just let me know. Okay, so for this project, you actually have two options to choose from. I know some of you are quite ambitious out there and maybe you wanna do both and that's fine, but you only have to do one. So let's talk about option one first. So option one is research and report. So for this option, you are going to choose one type of renewable energy that you either know very little about or you're wanting to know more about. So if you go back to the other slide, that could be solar, hydroelectric, geothermal, etc. So choose one of those types, and then you are going to investigate that type of renewable energy source. So you can watch videos, you can read articles, and just do basic research to find out more about this source of energy. Now, when you go to have your finished product for this project, I am going to be looking for information regarding a few things. So as you're doing your research, here's what I want you to try to figure out. Is number one, how does it work? Now, some of these renewable sources of energy, they get quite complicated in the science. Um, try your best to just kind of figure out at the very basics, how does this uh, type of renewable energy work? And there are lots of different options out there. Even solar, for example, may have different kinds of ways solar energy can generate power. So you can share uh, the multiple ways or the different aspects of it. So how does it work, number one? And number two, what are the benefits? So if we are going to choose a turbine or wind power, why is that a better option than, say, burning fossil fuels? Or maybe even why is uh, that um, option a better, um, I guess, like, why would wind maybe be better than solar? Why would wind be maybe better than geothermal? So compare it to not just uh, non-renewable sources, but maybe compare it to its competitors as far as renewable sources as well. Even though renewable sources um, have great benefits, as you're going to see, there are some major drawbacks, and I want you to try to investigate that as well. So what would be the problem with maybe installing solar panels, or what could be an issue with building a hydroelectric dam? So try to go out there and find uh, the drawbacks as well. And then the final thing I would like you to do if you choose this project is try to find examples of how this is being used today. So where are there solar panel farms? Where are there big wind turbines that are generating electricity? Where do you see the major hydroelectric dams? So go out there and maybe learn about a couple of the places throughout the world or even the United States that maybe use this type of energy. And then the last thing you have an option to do for this uh, option for the project is to develop a way to present your findings. Uh, you may just want to, um, you know, just talk about it. Uh, you may want to teach it. Maybe you want to create a skit. Maybe you make a stop motion video. I am letting you be as creative as possible here. Okay. In the end, whatever you create does need to make its way onto Flipgrid. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but figure out a way to present your findings. Okay. It could be a poster, anything. Make a game out of it. Just find a creative way uh, to present what you have learned. So that is option one, research and Port, pick a type of renewable energy, learn as much as you can about it, and present your findings. Uh, the other, oh, sorry, yeah, and then you're going to share on Flipgrid. I'll talk more about that here in a little bit. Option number two um, is for maybe a little bit more of my creative people out there, or maybe some students who already know quite a bit about renewable energy sources. This is going to allow you to think outside the box, design, create, and come up with some innovative ideas. So for option Project um, option number two, you're going to design and create an, a new idea for renewable energy in the future. So you can take something that already exists 
but make it your own some way, shape or form or come up with a crazy idea for maybe like how a community or um, maybe a certain um, type of mechanics can be run off renewable energy. Uh, just like the option number one, you will still be watching videos, reading articles and research, uh, but you're going to be drawing inspiration. So instead of just going out there and gathering information, you're taking the information and you are kind of making it your own. Okay. So a couple options on what you could do here. You could create a new idea for how to use an existing renewable energy source. So we know things like solar and wind and geothermal already exist, but how could maybe we use that in a way that has not been tapped into just yet? Or maybe you could find an example of it being done on a very small scale, but you could you have an idea of how to bring it much larger. So that's one option. Another way you could do this is think about a way to combine the energy sources. And for those of you, um, hopefully you already watched the Paradex slide, uh, Manasa Mendu, who is obviously a Mason uh, High School student, her Harvest piezoelectric device does this. It combines many different aspects of renewable energy, solar, as well as piezoelectric effects. And she figured out a way to combine the energy sources together to create a new kind of way to generate energy. So if you are creative and you can think outside the box, which you did, you can uh, do that as well. And another way you can do this is um, maybe you have a great idea uh, that is completely off the grid, like not even thought of, not even known yet. Um, so a brand new idea, but it does need to be a possible thing. Okay, it can't be something like, you know, I'm going to take um, unicorns and the tears of a troll and make power. Okay, we can't do that. But what would be absolutely possible and you think of a way that you could generate energy from this source. Now remember, this is called the Renewable Energy Project. So it can't be burning fossil fuels, coal, oil, gas, etc. But what if maybe something out there in the world that is renewable that maybe we haven't thought about yet as tapping into um, energy for? So if for my big thinkers, um, I can challenge you to do that as well. Once you kind of pick what you want to do or what you're thinking about, uh, you're going to develop a way to present your design or your creation. It will still also be on the same flip grid. Uh, for this, you have lots of different ideas. Like you, if you have the ability and you have the materials at home to maybe build a prototype of what you're kind of thinking, you can do that. Um, if you just want to sketch it out, uh, if you can create it some way digitally, again, the, I'm not putting a lot of limits on your creativity and how you want to share. Uh, it just needs to show up some way, shape, or form on Flipgrid. Um, I'm going to talk about that here in just a second of different ways we can use Flipgrid. So here is option two, a little bit more for people who maybe already know about renewable resources or maybe have brilliant ideas, thinking outside the box, and creative thoughts. Okay, so whichever one you choose, option one or two, the final product must be shared on Flipgrid. So I did enable a certain feature on the Flipgrid. I do need you to record a video, okay, saying whatever you're going to say about your project. But there is an option where you can link or I think it's a, maybe even possibly embed um, a file. So if you do choose to maybe do um, some kind of digital sketch of an idea, uh, you can link it in there for me to see. I'm not sure if other people on Flipgrid will be able to see it, but I know that I will. So if you'd rather show it to me that way, um, you can, but I do want you to at least record partial um, parts of the Flipgrid video discussing which option you chose and um, what you learned and what you're thinking. Uh, I am taking this for a grade. This is kind of the final component for talking about oil, um, renewable versus non-renewable resources. So please make sure you do put some thought and effort into that final product. And the last thing is just a reminder, in Schoology, uh, there is a folder that I have compiled, just some random things that I've come across in the past few years, uh, videos, resources, websites, really crazy new innovative ideas that maybe you want to take a look at to get some information or to get some inspiration just to kind of help you get started. So please check the Schoology. Um, like always, I'm here to help you. Send me a message on Schoology. Let me know if you need any help, you have questions, or if you have a crazy idea that doesn't fit this mold. Um, let me know and I'll be happy to work with you. Thanks, guys.